Hey, what's up guys? So I wanna come at you today with a video and I actually wanna introduce you to each one of my teammates here at Wealth Dynamics. And the reason I wanna do that is we're hiring, we're expanding, we're looking for talented salespeople. We're looking for a recruiter to come work in office. We're looking for client service people. And so I wanna show you my team, introduce you to them and get their feedback for you on why they like working here, what's the best part, what are the hardest parts and everything else you would need to know to make a decision to work at Wealth Dynamics today. If at any point you're watching this and you're interested, I want you to reach out. You can click on the careers link in the comment or you can go right to our website. So first I wanna introduce you to James here. Oh man. We got James Tapugo. Okay, I look good, hey. So James, uh, what do you do here at Wealth Dynamics? I'm in sales. Okay, James is in sales, and what's the biggest opportunity you see here working as a staff member? Um, just, you know, learning how to sell and uh, learning how to increase my income. Okay, and then what was it that interested you made you want to come work here? Uh, sales. Sales? Uh, because I wanted to learn how to sell, and I, and, I, uh, <clears throat> and I figured out that in order for me to increase my income, I need to learn how to sell. Okay, and then what's, like, the, what's the hardest part about working at Wealth Dynamics? Selling. Selling? <laughs> it's just sales. Okay. And but then, that's, hey, I'm learning, so it's good. Okay. And then what What would you tell somebody that was considering coming to work here? Oh, you're going to love it. it, it it's it's going to be challenging, but you're going to love it. Awesome. Yeah. So, guys, this is James. He's focused on sales. Next, we've got Ben here. Hey, ben what's up, actually, everybody? How's it going? You're one of our veterans, huh, Ben? Definitely. So what was it that interested you about working at Wealth Dynamics? Um, honestly, well, I was just looking for a job. Um, actually, I was a client first, and then um, a month later, I became a staff member here. And uh, I was really just looking for, I guess, something better than what I was currently doing. And this was it, and I, I've definitely found it. I found a, a career, something I can legitimately call a career um, that I can pretty much utilize to you know, grow as a person and then grow with the company and then literally have something that's like stable, uh, ongoing income for my family. Awesome. I love that. And then what do you see as like the biggest opportunity here the for biggest, as a staff member? Biggest opportunity is number one, the money. Um, there's definitely a lot of money that you can potentially make here. And that's why I call it a career. Um, and so definitely long term, I definitely see a future with this company. This is one of those companies that uh, you can definitely grow with. Awesome. And what's the hardest thing about working here? The hardest thing about working here is that every single day you are constantly challenged like to, to the limit of your potential, which you'll never know what your potential is. But every single day that I come to work, I constantly get challenged uh, to, you know, to be, you know, the best version of myself that I need to be in order for me to ultimately own my potential. Yeah. Awesome. And if someone was considering working here, what's the one thing you think they need to know? The one thing you need to know is that you have to have a desire to uh, want to own your potential. I mean, that's ultimately the bottom line. Awesome. So that means it's going to be, you know, constantly pushing and uh, challenging every single day. Awesome. Well, thank you, Ben. Thank you, Jerry. All right. We're going to go talk to Coach. <laughs> Coach Aquino is next. So we have Coach Nano Aquino here. So, Coach, what was it that attracted you and interested you in coming to work for Wealth Dynamics? Uh, I met you and I met uh, Mike. Money Mike. Money Mike. Yes, absolutely. So I've been studying Grant for quite some time. In, uh, Grant Cardone, uh, if you guys don't know who that is. Yes, Grant Cardone. So I basically I met Jerry, and uh, you know him introducing, uh, you know talking about what he does here and whatnot. And uh, to more to being a more concise uh, communication rather than me to going all around and doing a uh, this story, <clears throat> realizing that uh, you need to ask yourself four questions uh, to find out if you're in the right industry oh, to uh, own your potential. First of all, uh, is it ethical? What you're doing is the ethical. Our second question is, uh, are, do you have uh, enough, can you make enough you know, margin in order for you to profit? Third question is, uh, can you scale it out? Meaning, can you know, are you in the right vehicle working for yourself or for a company that you can uh, create a volume? The fourth question is, is the right uh, leader in place in order to blow it up? So meaning, is the leader of co the company, the leadership constantly pushing in order to uh, to expand, because if he isn't, he might be putting a cap on your own potential. So um, 
I mean, once I came to that realization, I realized that, well, uh, you know, I, I don't think I am in the right vehicle. So uh, seeing your work ethic and seeing what you do, and uh, I wanted to own my own potential. That's why I moved from Dallas to here. And, and with the pay cut. <laughs> with the pay cut. And then what's, what do you see as the biggest opportunity here as a staff member? Well, definitely uh, the biggest opportunity, it, it is uh, going back to owning the potential. Uh, I can probably hold this if you get into here. Okay. Uh, the biggest opportunity would be uh, owning my potential in the sense of uh, becoming, it goes back to the being for myself, right? I wanted to uh, first be consistent, disciplined, knowledgeable about money in the position where I can not only be there for myself but also exchange with people in order to provide for my own income in order to create my life doing that and it seems like i you know i found that you know here uh doing that you know that niche and then what's the hardest part about being Man. staff here <laughs> you can only pick one what's the hardest part uh hardest part is uh, your survival it is dependent dependent upon your ethics Meaning, I have to constantly take a look at myself on a on a daily basis to make sure that what I'm doing it is ethical. Otherwise, I would not make it here. So, with that being said, it's like, do I really want to become the person that I said I wanted to become? Do I really want to make the money that I say I wanted to make? Do I really want to help the people that I say I wanted to help? Do I really want to develop the income? To create the vision, the lifestyle, my scene, my perfect scene or my ideal scene in my life. Do I really want to do that? And I constantly have to be facing that. So with that comes the barriers, comes the challenges that come along the way. Am I willing to put the work to face those barriers? Am I willing to confront the areas in my life that I'm unwilling, unwilling or you know, can be uncomfortable? It really comes down to it. You know, people here in a sense what I have heard is like we don't fire people either like here's what needs to be done are you willing to do it or not so uh, and that would say what I would say would be the hardest part because it goes back to the human being uh, as your own ethics if you don't have your ethics in place if you don't have a, a bigger sense of purpose like for yourself it would make absolutely no sense as far as why to join something like this then might as well settle uh, working here is definitely not going to settle to say the least so you have to constantly be pushing to own your potential and then if someone was going to work here what's the one thing they need to know you got to be committed to yourself commit like you know are, are you are you committed uh to yourself i mean th think about does it make any sense for a person to get a pay cut move away from their family <laughs> come to alaska in the cold in the cold, I am from, you know, Brazil. It's pretty hot down there, but, you know, lived in Dallas. Uh, if I did not had a commitment to owning my potential. So with that being said, it's not going to be easy, right? You, there's some work to be done. So the, uh, the question was... was the, What's the, the one thing, yeah, that they need to know? Yeah, you got to yeah. be committed to, like, am I committed to be doing the work necessary? Uh, am I willing? So in order to, the higher you go up, I mean, the less you have to carry. Am I willing to be, to put aside the, the weekends? Not that you know this is for everyone, right? Like, am I willing to study for to be to own the position that I'm in in order to be in a position where I can constantly be giving to people content? You know, as I'm coaching people on a daily basis, if I don't study <laughs> on my own time in order to provide for them, how am I gonna make it here? But this is something that I wanted for myself that I wanted to develop for me, so. That's big. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right, so I'm going to introduce you guys to Ray Lynn next. She's our production coordinator, and she got in a fight yesterday. She got a cast on her arm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> a client wouldn't a sign, right? <laughs> so, Ray Lynn, uh, what was the thing that interested you in Wealth Dynamics? Everything, uh, being able to own your potential and uh, live and work in an ethical way. That's awesome. And then what do you see as the biggest opportunity for you as a staff? Um, everything there's knowledge for everything and uh, you're able to grow as a person in your personal and in your work as well yeah yeah and then what's the hardest part of being staff here everything everything <laughs> all of the things everything but it's definitely worth it and um, 
You either got it or you don't. And the people here has it and we're ethical and it is amazing. And if someone was considering working here, what's the one thing they need to know? Uh, that it's a lot of hard work, but it's definitely worth it. That's awesome. So guys, that's Ray Lynn. She's our production coordinator. We're going to spy on Lexi. Lexi's on calls. We're not going to interview her. We're just going to see she's introducing herself. It's a greeting. Watch, she's going to get into the fact. Uh, yes, yeah, so I got a, um, a letter that was Statement of intention. forwarded to me. And um, I, I was unclear to where it was being directed to, if that was for me or the law firm. So just kind of wanted to get clarity on that. Ooh, she's dealing with, law with legal stuff, with lawyers. She's stating her intention, though. So, guys, yeah. we're hiring. We're expanding. We have a great team here, as you can see. We actually just triple our office size, and we're looking to triple our staff size, too. So here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for nine people that want to be inside sales staff at Wealth Dynamics in Anchorage, Alaska. What does that mean? It means that you're committed to being on the phone, to being on social media, to being in front of prospects, contacting people, following up, trying to close deals. Okay, nine people that want to do that. I want three people that are committed to becoming a recruiter for Wealth Dynamics. Now, what does that mean? That means that we have a bunch of positions open and tons of opportunity here. And I'm looking for somebody, for three individuals that are comfortable getting on the phone, scheduling interviews, generating leads for new prospects, maybe finding people that are excellent at their job and they already have something they're doing and showing them wealth dynamics instead and saying, hey, come work here. And you're closing those people and bringing them in. I'm looking for three people to be client service professionals meaning that you're following up with our clients, you're providing service, you're helping them get involved in other products and services and really just becoming immersed in Wealth Dynamics and what we offer. And then I'm looking for three administrative people that are gonna help Coach Aquino, that are gonna help Ray Lynn, that are gonna help Lexi on the production side of our business. So guys, we're pushing for the biggest expansion we've ever had here. We've got all the right people to do it. We've got the right clientele, the right product. Nobody does what Wealth Dynamics does. And so if you're interested in coming to work for us, I want you to click on the co careers link in the comments and or you can go right to our website and just go to wealthdynamics.com forward slash careers, submit an application and we'll go ahead and get an interview uh, call scheduled with you. We'll get some phone screening done, get you in front of our, our recruiter, Mr. Charlie Black and get you on board with Wealth, with Wealth Dynamics. Please like, share and subscribe. If you know somebody right now that's the perfect fit for Wealth Dynamics, Make sure this video gets in front of them. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time.